G'day, I'm Josh Williamson. I'm the pastor of New Key Baptist Church here in Cornwall. Now, I know many people are at home at the moment. They're locked in, they are concerned, and they are worried about all that is happening in the world. So what we would like to do is bring you a message of hope via the internet. Now, to do that, we are going to read God's Word together. We've called these videos Just Bible, and God willing, each day we will read to you a chapter of the Scripture. Now, today we intend to start with the Gospel of Mark, which is a biography of Jesus. It explains who he is and what he has done. I will be reading from the New King James Version of Holy Scripture. So if you have a copy of the Bible, I would encourage you to read along with me. If you don't have a copy of the Bible and you live in the New Key area, we would love to send you a free copy. So please contact us via our church website or via the Facebook page that you're watching this video on, and we will get a copy of God's Word to you if you live in the New Key area. So with that in mind, let us begin reading the Scripture by looking at the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1. Mark, chapter 1. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the Prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his paths straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Then all the land of Judea and those from Jerusalem went out to him and were all baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locust and wild honey. And he preached, saying, There comes one after me who is mightier than I, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to stoop down and loose. I indeed baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And immediately coming up from the water, he saw the heavens parting and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. Then a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Immediately the Spirit drove him into the wilderness, and he was there in the wilderness forty days tempted by Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. Now after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. And as he walked by the sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Then Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I'll make you become fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. When he had gone a little farther from there, he saw James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, who were also in the boats mending their nets. And immediately he called to them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants, and they went after him. Then they came into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Now there was a man in their synagogue with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Did you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had convulsed him and cried out with a loud voice, he came out of him. Then they were all amazed. So they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? 
What new doctrine is this? For with authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And immediately his fame spread throughout all the region around Galilee. Now as soon as they had come out of the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. But Simon's wife's mother lay sick with a fever, and they told him about her at once. So he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she served them. At evening, when the sun had set, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were demon-possessed, and the whole city was gathered together at the door. Then he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons, and he did not allow the demons to speak because they knew him. Now in the morning, having risen long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is looking for you. But he said to them, Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also, because for this purpose I have come forth. And he was preaching in their synagogues throughout all Galilee and casting out demons. Now a leper came to him, imploring him, kneeling down to him and saying to him, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus moved with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing, be cleansed. As soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. And he strictly warned him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go your way, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing those things which Moses commanded as a testimony to them. However, he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the matter so that Jesus could no longer openly enter the city, but was outside in the deserted places, and they came to him from every direction. This is the ending of Mark chapter 1 of the Gospel of Mark, the biography of Jesus. Uh, we hope you find this time encouraging. And again, if you do not have a copy of the Bible and you live in the New Key region in Cornwall, we would love to send you a copy of God's Word. So please contact us. Again, thank you for watching Just Bible. We hope this encourages you and we hope that you will come to know the Lord Jesus Christ, the God of the Scripture. God bless you.